Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and, and my friends from media. Uh, it's indeed my pleasure to be here uh, and talk to you about this because it's a very significant milestone uh, in our journey at, at YCOM 18 and arguably a significant milestone uh, in the journey in, in Indian cinema and, and, um, and in India, particularly in the animation industry. So let me first start by uh, the, 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 the big picture. I think animation in India is growing very rapidly. And Ketan, um, you know, Maya Studios and, and some of your other colleagues in India are doing a fantastic job. It's a large uh, employment creation opportunity. A lot of animation, particularly back-end stuff, or, or happens for most of the films in India, as some of you may know. And I think while we were doing a lot of that support piece, uh, what I'm absolutely delighted is that we've now produced our own uh, 3D animation film. So very well done. Uh, to you, Ketan, and the team, and to our colleagues from uh, uh, Nickelodeon in, in Bicom 18, Anu and uh, Nina, I can see sitting here. And I think this, this is an important piece because uh, this is, again, you know, as Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji says, this is classic Make in India. It's basically our own characters, so popular characters which you'd sort of built, Modu Patlu, oh, which are now doing here. It's also a great thing because uh, at YCOM 18 Motion Pictures, and you saw the AV, and you know, Ajit and team have been doing a fantastic job. So we've actually, we've defined our journey in films as the science behind the art of filmmaking. So filmmaking is an art, we've never debated that, and it, it continues to be, a, it is one of the most fascinating art forms. But there is a science behind doing these things. And I think it is, the, uh, it is in our understanding and the understanding of our YCOM 18 Motion Pictures team that Motu Patlu are now ready to come onto the big screen. So I think, you know, after having donned the small screen, uh, become the favorite character and it is our highest rated program. Arguably, the, it is the highest rated program on kids' television. By the way, it is also the most watched uh, uh, episodes or, or, you know, the series, Motu Patlu series on our uh, digital space as well. So a fourth of kids uh, digital uh, viewing on Woot is actually Motu Patlu. So roughly a fourth. So you can see the popularity. So basically being very popular on television to now being becoming really popular on, on digital. We've also done, uh, the team has done 10 made for TV uh, movies. Uh, basically each of the 10 movies have rated really well and you know has been a blockbuster whenever it's got released on television. And this is now uh, the big avatar. We've, we've also done a lot with this uh, in, in merchandising and I think that is growing and therefore there will be I firmly believe from a strategic perspective from a YCOM 18 point of view it's important that we build ecosystem around uh, you know our key characters and around our key programs and I think this is a classic example of how our YCOM 18 motion pictures team uh, is taking forward something which has been built uh, by our Nickelodeon team of course in collaboration with, with Maya Studios and how we've also been doing a lot of this, how we'll be doing a lot of this stuff uh, in, um, in, in merchandising as well. So basically you've got films, you've got television, you've got digital, you've got merchandising and that's what building the ecosystem all around. And because what we want is we want our young Indians and there are 400 million of them, kids actually in India. India is the largest country for children as you know as well. So there are 400 million children to sort of uh, 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 be able to feel them, touch them, uh, be able to sort of, you know, interact with them, experience them in, in different forms at different places. So uh, I'm absolutely delighted. There are many firsts here and, and that's, therefore that's why I'm here. I'm not there for many of Ajit's uh, trailer releases, he would be thinking. But that's the, basically this is the reason I think it's, it's, we are all coming together as well. So it's also the power of our YCOM 18 network. So if you look at YCOM 18 Media as a company, we do, we do all of this stuff. We do television, we do film, we do digital. Uh, we do merchandising, uh, we do live and experiential events and I think uh, soon Motu Patlu should be doing some of those as well. And I think we should do some theatrical around Motu Patlu Anu, I think that's the next brief for you and Nida. I think so therefore that's the piece which we keep doing and, and I'm absolutely delighted today to be here with you. Uh, this is a place to actually watch cinema and not to talk, so let me not take too much time. Thank you, thank you for your time and, and well done to everyone involved and to the teams. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning to everyone here. It's a, it's a very exciting moment for us at YCOM 18 Motion Pictures. Why do I say so? Uh, because every time when we 
look back at that AV and when we look at how we end that AV, it ends in a line called redefining Indian cinema. So whenever I'm at a trailer launch or trying to announce my next film or next idea, you know, it's a moment when we ask ourselves, have what are we really redefining? You know, because there are times when you may not be really redef redefining on that particular film. But today I'm very confident that what we are doing is new and unique. Uh, it's it's really breaking a new ground. Uh, we are going where usually cinema doesn't go, which, uh, and when I say that, in India cinema doesn't go. Of course, globally it's very big there. And that's in animation, you know. But I really don't see it as an animation film. I don't think we are here to sort of say that we are laying the foundation of animation uh, film industry in India, no. To me, this is really the journey, the rightful journey of a producer giving a break to two people who have earned it. And these two gentlemen are Motu and Patlu, you know. I think they have earned their spurs more than enough in that small little box and it's time for them to welcome them, uh, it's time for us to welcome them on the big screen. And that's what really it is about. It's about bringing these two characters from their journey which has been on the other, uh, uh, you know, media to the big screen because uh, given the amount of love and affection we have seen of these characters, I'm sure the consumers, the kids, in fact their families are going to actually enjoy this experience 70mm. You know, after all, we have a character called Motu there. Uh, and this uh, whole experience has been about, uh, you know, partnerships of various kind. I have my good friend Ketan here who's been at the heart of many of our successes. You saw uh, the Maji, uh, you know, featuring very proudly there. And uh, my other partner in crime here, uh, the uh, you know, uh, who's, who's responsible for bringing Motu Patlu to where they are today from that little comic book we all read in our, uh, uh, you know, younger days. So let me welcome Nina, my partner in crime on this. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm going to step back four years, uh, it was in October 2012 that we actually launched Motu Patlu. We took them right out of uh, Mr. P.K. Bajaj's load port and thanks to Maya and Ketan, we actually put them onto the audiovisual medium. Uh, we did that uh, with a whole lot of risk, uh, with a whole lot of anxiety, hoping that kids in India actually uh, you know, come around to look at a character that has been so old but yet so contemporized and work with, uh, you know, walk with them, have fun in Furfuri Nagar, eat samosas. And from there to now, that journey has been absolutely fantastic. We've taken risks, we've innovated. We've got the kids so happy that the show has become a number one. And like Sudhanshu said, we didn't stop there. We created digital assets, we've got video games, we've got merchandising, school bags, water bottles. Uh, we've got product licensing with McVities, we've got uh, Pratap snacks. And we've got a whole lot of ecosystem, in, including Boat Kids now. But today I'm going to leave and shed my business head role and say that I'm a proud parent, uh, a parent who gave birth about four years ago. And today I'm, I'm seeing my kids graduating. So I'm a very an anxious parent as well because there's full amount of anxiety because when kids move from school to college, which actually happened in my real life as well. But having said that, these kids are now going to go from TVdom to stardom. And I want to wish the entire team all the very best and a very, very heartful thank you to Viacom Motion Pictures, to Maya, to Lotport and Team Viacom 18 to make this happen. I just hope that the kids embrace these characters that we so love and we hope to hell that the cinema houses are full with them and their laughter. So looking forward to a fantastic opening. With that, I want to call uh, the man behind the scene, uh, Ketan. A uh, couple of years ago, I was traveling through this country promoting a film called Manji, The Mountain Man. And one of the happiest moments of my life occurred when a family came up to me with two small kids. They the uncle. The kids were very baffled. What happened? And they said, that the kids don't eat food until they Now, you can't have a better compliment than that. So the entire team of Maya and, and Lodpot and of course Viacom 18 uh, for making this such a wonderful experience of our lives. Animation is still in its infancy in this country. And therefore, I believe that this is really a landmark, uh, which we will remember for a long time. Uh, India has been providing services to international animation studios and VFX studios for a long time now, about 10-15 years. Uh, that's how Maya started about 20 years ago. 
बच्चा बड़ा हो गया नाउ दिस ए फुल लेंथ फीचर फिल्म इन थ्री डी स्टीरियोस्कोपिक इमेज विच यू आर गोइंग टू सी द एंटायर कंट्री इज गोइंग टू सी आई होप द लव एंड अफेक्शन द चिल्ड्रन हैव फॉर दिस दीज कैरेक्टर्स विल एक्सप्रेस इट सेल्फ इन द थिएटर्स इज वेल Maya was started about 20 years ago primarily out of a crisis creative crisis of a filmmaker uh, at that point of time in early 90s we were still working with second world war technologies you know and uh, we were doing a film me and deepa my life partner were doing a film called maya mem sab and there was a magical lovely uh, climactic shot in that film about uh, maya drinking a magic potion and dis- disappearing in a flame of light <coughs> so easy to write uh, in the script but when we started doing it with the outdated technologies we realized that we were just not happy with the results at all i shot that sequence at least 10 times and i was still not happy by the time the film uh, was released and that's when we both of us deep and me decided that india being the largest film producing country in the world uh, we couldn't do a shot that we didn't that we wanted to do now that's a shame and that we have to do something about it and luckily fortunately for us the digital revolution was just beginning uh and we decided to take a leap of faith and jumped into maya maya means an enchanting illusion uh which is now finally coming up to be a reality so uh that's how maya started out of the creative frustration of a desperate filmmaker and fortunately for us it has grown to be one of the largest animation studios in this country producing the largest amount of uh original animation content in this country uh we must be having some kind of a record in terms of no amount of output that we are doing with the number of people we have so uh yes maya i'm so happy uh after 20 years maya has grown up uh Indian animation is growing up and i hope this will be one of those moments that we will remember but uh apart from me and maya i would like to introduce the four some who i think are the the reason behind the success of this maya from our side of course i mean great partners with of via com uh first i will introduce the three uh what i call the three musketeers of motu patlu so suhas come get up get up face the audience take a bow the director of the film uh from the scratch from the comic books bringing uh, the characters alive turning them into popular characters all across india uh has not been a mean uh, feat at all uh and the success is really all due to their hard work The second one I call the genius is Mr. Neeraj Vikram and Dheeraj Berry and uh, breaking barriers reaching out to new new territories and new frontiers and last and not the least at all uh, Anish Mehta This does not mean that the I am not taking I am not taking the names of the others who are sitting behind there but all of them in a t- team of more than 200 people uh who has been behind the success of uh motu patu so far and how can i really not name the originators of the idea mayapuri lootport comics mr bajaj aa bhi aa jaye na sir sharmani ki koi baat nahi they in they created these characters in their comics 40 years 47 years 47 years of a uh, tradition i am sure three generations of people have grown up on motu patlu so i i hope I, my real hope is that the grandfather father and their children all come and see this film because i'm sure it will cross all those age bar- barriers uh, over time so welcome to the world of motu patlu This picture is going to be very incomplete without Anu Sikka. Anu, come on.
Well, now that we've heard so much about these entertaining tunes, I think it's only more to Patlu, the awesome twosome with another superstar, Mr. Sushant Singh Rajput, Urf MS Dhoni. Guys, thank you so much for having me here. सबसे पहले मैं ये बोलना चाहूँगा कि मैं तुम दोनों का बहुत 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 बड़ा फैन हूँ मतलब मोटू पतलू बचपन में भी बैक इन द डे आई रिमेंबर रीडिंग लोट बोट कॉमिक्स बहुत मुझे पढ़ाई पड़ती थी लेकिन फिर भी मैं रोज uh, uh, पढ़ता था उसको एंड अमेजिंग है और तुम लोग का डेब्यू होने वाला है फिल्म uh, में तो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दैट आप कुछ बोलना चाहेंगे बोलते हैं दोस्तों okay. आप लोगों ने अपना कीमती वक्त निकाल के यहाँ पर आए हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया <laughs> हाँ मोटू आज हमारे लिए बहुत बड़ा दिन है बहुत बड़ा हमारा फिल्मी डेब्यू है <laughs> आपने हमें स्मॉल स्क्रीन पे सुपरस्टार बनाया सुपर डुपर स्टार अब बिग स्क्रीन पे भी आप हमारा साथ जरूर दे देना <laughs> और सबसे बड़ी खुशी की बात यह है कि आज हमारे साथ हमें गुड लक विश करने के लिए <laughs> क्रिकेट के सबसे बड़े सुपरस्टार एम एस धोनी महेंद्र सिंह धोनी और आपके सामने सुशांत सिंह राजपूत भैया हाजिर हो गए हैं <laughs> वाह मोटू वाह वाह सही बोला सही बोला और हमारे छोटे छोटे बच्चों को जो जो चीजें पसंद है वो सब कुछ एक साथ एक स्टेज पे क्रिकेट फिल्म्स और हम दो टूल्स वाह वाह तो भाइयों बड़े भाइयों हमारी इच्छा है हमारा विश है कि सुशांत बड़े भैया हमारे सुपरस्टार हमारे सुपरहिट पार्टनरशिप के बारे में कुछ बात करें कुछ बताए तो जाए हो बड़े भैया वी एवरीबडी नोज एम एस धोनी इज वेरी वेरी इमेंसली पॉपुलर स्पेशली विद द किड्स और जिस तरीके से आप दोनों पॉपुलर हैं तो ये जो आप लोग आप लोग के साथ ये एसोसिएशन है ये काफ़ी अच्छा है कि हम ये एक सिम्बाइटिक रिलेशनशिप हो जाता है मैं आपका ट्रेलर प्रमोट करता हूँ आप मेरा मेरी फिल्म प्रमोट करिए जरूर जरूर थैंक यू थैंक यू Sushant, may I request you please remain on stage with us? May I invite Mr. Sudanshu Watts, Mr. Ajit Andare, Ms. Nina Jayapuria.
uh, over here towards your left over here um, you know we have seen hollywood films animated hollywood films doing good business in india but very few uh, bollywood films like animated films have done good business over here so what according to you is the reason for the same we have seen jungle book which was semi animated and there was kung fu panda which have done good business in india yeah i think uh, uh, if i was to sort of uh, attempt and try and address this or my hypothesis for this uh, would be couple of things i think one is that the quality of animation which you now saw in this one you just saw the trailer now it's like comparable to the world right so that's one of the key things which you need to do and i think that so we have got there and and you know well done uh, again the maya team well done guys i think you know it's a superb the other thing which is there is also that you know the character which needs to be popular so that is the character popular it shouldn't come out of the blue i think some of the earlier attempts which have been made um i don't like to use it but i think they've been disjointed if i could say so i think you know therefore here you have two characters which are hugely popular uh, with the children at least and and we've seen it in both television and digital ecosystem now so i think therefore the ability to pull children and through children the families uh, uh into this is, is better so i think the this is what these two are in my assessment uh, very fundamental differences and and let's see how we go forward with this i'll just add to that uh, sudanshu i think there are three fundamental things that actually uh, are the secrets to the kids hearts uh, to me uh, i think we have all three here very much present one is of course the character itself and how endearing they are and how kids love them which is uh, a thumbs up the second most important is how you tell the story the storytelling and therefore the script and how you actually tell the story makes all the difference and third of course like sudanshu said the quality of outstanding animation all three of them are a thumbs up on this one and to me therefore i think we've put all the bets out on this one to make it a super success and the ability of a distribution house and uh, to really take that risk in spite of the fact that indian animation hasn't succeeded before this to believe in the product and put it out, out on this kind of a scale so i think this will be a turning point i think your question was also why hollywood uh, animation has been successful in india i think apart from all the factors that have been pointed out one thing which stands out for hollywood animation is it does not only addresses it does not only address kids okay it actually addresses the grown up so all of us have loved ratatouille all of us have lo loved the ice ages and all of that and i think that's the other thing which counts here motu patlu is not a character that only my daughters know i also know about them so there is a fa familiarity i think that's what worked for jungle book as well we all knew sher khan you know we all knew the characters there and i think having that first connect and you know pitching your film which is not only on kids but also to the to the entire family and to the adults i think makes the other big difference which uh, has been attempted here as well uh, and so you know uh, uh, this, this uh, what kind of uh, release are you planning for this film and how are you planning to market this film over a period of month uh so it's been mounted at a very large scale uh, uh, of course uh, ajit will talk to you about the screens and all of that but from a marketing perspective i can tell you what we have in our own network is is fabulous so the network of viacom 18 is actually going to come in to play big time right from our own nickelodeon franchise which has many channels right from nick to sonic to nick junior to teen nick to nick hd now and of course if you add all the colors regionals which is marathi gujarati you add colors to it which is hindi you will see a whole lot of uh, promotion on all our network channels uh, all our digital assets including voot our websites outside of that you will see a whole lot of print uh, you'll see a whole lot of outdoor mall activations you'll see uh, blimps you'll see so the plan is enormous uh, i think we're making sure that we get the last mile right if this is the fabulous product we have let's not not give up hope and we're going all out on making sure that there's enough awareness uh, of this particular movie on our channels on our network and outside the network as well uh, yeah so uh, in addition to what nina talked about uh, see look at the release date also uh, one of the challenges of releasing uh, an animation film in india is that it has normally got to contest with the you know the big films and uh, the the standard bollywood fare now 14th october actually allows you to get into what we typically call the pre diwali period when some of the traditional films actually they step back 
you know and then you get into a period where the schools also are going to shut and therefore you will have a lot of audience in the theaters uh, we are looking at uh, distributing it pretty wide upwards of 700 odd screens and therefore uh, you know the characters will be accessible pretty much everywhere so it's a fairly wide uh, uh, you know release positioned at a time where it will be easy to consume and the show timings also will be uh, so that the whole family can go and enjoy the experience also in that case you just mentioned that uh, you would be promoting uh, this movie on various uh, channels of colors and nickelodeon in that case would you also be promoting it on big boss considering it would be one of its kind uh, big boss hasn't yet launched there but i can in, but i'm it sure it'll be there on jalak for sure okay i still uh, remember my video. question is to uh question uh, ketan my question is to you you just mentioned that uh, animation is still not succeeded in india uh where do you think are we lacking and secondly what are the business opportunities that you see uh as i had mentioned uh, earlier animation is still in, in its infancy in this country i mean it's 15 years old really speaking while in hollywood it's a 80 year old tradition you know so uh, uh it we had a long way to go we have covered that distance very very Uh, in a very short span of time and now a whole generation of children are growing up on animation and they are forcing their parents to go along with them to see the films as well so uh i see this film uh, re- really reaching out to the, the farthest corner of this country are there any brands which have got associated with the movie so far so we are working on that uh, as you see my sales head is not here today uh, she's out there we still have uh, six weeks to go so definitely there'll be brands associated with sushant for sure, sure. sushant mera sawal aapse hai aapke left mein bas aap ha sun lijiye sawal ye hai ki uh, aapki kya yaadein judi hui hain bachpan ki aur kis tarike se aap motu patlu ko dekhte hain aur aapka favorite in dono mein kaun tha ha ye bada kathin sawal pucha aapne uh, main jhoot nahi bolunga main inke bare mein janta hu aur pichle 2 3 saal 4 saal se main kafi apne kaam mein busy tha lekin phir bhi agar main inko janta hu to aap Uh, अंदाज़ा लगा सकते हैं कि इनकी पॉपुलैरिटी कितनी है uh, बचपन से मैंने बहुत सारे कॉमिक्स पढ़े जैसा मैंने बोला और uh, मुझे लगता है कि अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज थ्री फंडामेंटल्स दैट यू मेंशन मैम मुझे लगता है वी नीड टू बी वेरी वेरी केयरफुल एंड वेरी इंटेलिजेंट व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग टू किड्स हम ये सोचते हैं कि यार हम बच्चों की फिल्म बना रहे हैं लेकिन तो कुछ भी फ्रिवलिस टफ हो सकता है बट वी शुड नॉट टेक द इंटेलिजेंस एंड आर रेलिवेंस फॉर ग्रांटेड and uh, uh, the films like this like right now i want to watch this film and fortunately uh, we'll have to wait till 14th of october or uh, motu patlu ka kya batao it's amazing how i look like motu and patlu depending on what i eat but uh, <laughs> but i i just love them yeah and aapki bhi film bahut jald aane wali hai to uski kya taiyariyan kis tarike se uske promotions chal rahe hain abhi promotions uh, abhi shuru hue तो मैं आज से शुरू कर रहा हूँ तो पहले से आपसे ही बात कर रहा हूँ <laughs> ये भी जैसे मोटू पतलू है वैसे ही एम एस धोनी भी बच्चों में बहुत ही पॉपुलर है आ, मैं इस फिल्म के ज़रिए हम लोग ये हर बच्चों को बताना चाहते हैं इस देश के इस हर एक सिटी से कि चाहे आप अंडर प्रिवलेज हों चाहे आप किसी भी जगह हों अगर आप में सपने देखने का जज्बा है तो फिर मुमकिन है फिर हो जाएगा मिस्टर अंधारे ये सवाल आपसे है कि एक तरफ मोटू पतलू आ रहे हैं दूसरी तरफ दीपिका प्रियंका भी आपके स्टूडियोस की तरफ से आने वाली हैं तो किस तरीके के प्लान्स हैं और कौन कौन सी फिल्में अगर आप शेयर करना चाहें तो जैसे मैंने बताया स्टूडियो के लिए जितना डाइवर्सिफाइड स्लेट हो उतना अच्छा है तो यू नो कई फिल्में हैं जो हमने बनाई जिनको लोगों ने वुमेन ओरिएंटेड लेबल दिया तो अब शायद यू नो चिल्ड्रन ओरिएंटेड स्टूडियो हो जाएगा तो <laughs> इस सिलसिला जारी रहेगा लेकिन इम्पॉर्टेंट ये है कि एक एक डाइवर्सिफाइड स्लेट हो सिनेमा में सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट चीज़ है कुछ नया करना और uh, अगर आप देखें जो हम लोग हॉलीवुड के साथ कर रहे हैं हॉलीवुड का लोकलाइजेशन अगर हम करते हैं तो जंगल बुक में हम सब देखा है कि उसका रिजल्ट कुछ और ही होता है तो जब बेवॉच uh, या ट्रिपल एक्स रिटर्न ऑफ जैंड केज ये जो दो बड़े टाइटल्स uh, हम लेकर आ रहे हैं इनमें जब दीपिका और प्रियंका हैं तो उसमें फिर एक अलग ही लोकल कनेक्ट आ जाता है और हम इसको एक हॉलीवुड फिल्म की तरह ना देखकर एक एक फिल्म जो जो ऑलमोस्ट अपनी फिल्म है उस तरह से देखते हैं तो उसका एक अलग ही रिस्पांस आना चाहिए सो so, उससे हमें बहुत उम्मीदें हैं उसके अलावा ऑफ कोर्स हम लोग एक सीक्वल फोर्स टू लेके आ रहे हैं और रंगून जो हमने विशाल और साजिद के साथ बनाई है वो भी एक बड़ी खूबसूरत फिल्म है तो इस तरह से आप देखेंगे कि बहुत ही डाइवर्स अलग अलग सब्जेक्ट्स और एक नया नई सोच और कुछ अलग करने की आ, आ, की जो सेंट्रल थाट है वो इन सब प्रोजेक्ट्स में आपको नज़र आएगी
जानना चाहूँगा कि जब ऐसी फिल्में बनती हैं बच्चों के लिए खासकर तो ऐसा प्लान किया जाता है कि समा में रिलीज़ की जाए उन्हें बच्चों को टारगेट किया जाए जैसे कि जंगल बुक भी समा में रिलीज़ हुई थी अप्रैल में तो क्या लगता है आप लोगों को क्या लगता है कि वो ज़्यादा मुफीद डेट नहीं होती आप लोगों के लिए ये फिल्म रिलीज़ करने के लिए क्योंकि छुट्टियाँ होती है स्कूल की तो बहुत अच्छा रिस्पॉन्स मिलता है इसीलिए जैसे अजीत सर ने बताया कि ये ये वक्त भी छुट्टियों का ही है बिकॉज दशहरा से लेके दिवाली तक स्कूल की छुट्टियां रहेंगी तो वही हिसाब से हमने फिल्म लॉन्च की है कि दिवाली की छुट्टियों में सो नॉर्मली इवन फ्रॉम अ चैनल एंड टेलीविजन पर्सपेक्टिव देर आर थ्री वेकेशन दैट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेदर इट्स समर वेदर इट्स दिवाली एंड द क्रिसमस एंड ऑल थ्री वेकेशन आर इक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दे फॉर इफ इट इफ इट्स नॉट समर दैन इट्स दिवाली एंड टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई वॉज इम्पेशन द मूवी वॉज रेडी वी हैव टू लॉन्च इट ये बहुत यूनिक आइडिया है क्रॉस प्रमोशन का कि एक फिल्म को दूसरी फिल्म के प्रमोशन में के दौरान प्रमोट किया जाए आप धोनी प्रमोट करने आए हैं फिल्म की डेट नज़दीक आ रही है रिलीज़ की डेट नज़दीक आ रही है किस तरह के कॉम्प्लीमेंट आपको मिल रहे हैं धोनी प्ले करने के बाद पर्दे पर जनरली जब मैं फिल्म जब मैंने हाँ करी और मैं प्रिपेयर कर रहा था और जब शूट कर रहा था तो ज़्यादा मैं ये सोच नहीं रहा था कि ऑडियंस इसके बारे में क्या सोचेगी लेकिन एक एक मेरे जहन में एक बात थी कि क्योंकि एमएस अभी खेल रहे हैं तो बहुत ही स्ट्रॉन्ग विजुअल रेफरेंस है उनका तो वो किस तरीके से चलते हैं किस तरीके से वो ग्लव्स ऐसे करते हैं बहुत सारी ऐसी छोटी छोटी बारीकियाँ हैं जो सही करनी थी मुझे तो मुझे बस ये लग रहा था कि लोग मुझे बस समझ लें कि हाँ मैं एम एस हूँ क्योंकि हमारे पास इतना स्ट्रॉन्ग विजुअल रेफरेंस है एम एस का तो ये एक मेरे जहन में बात थी लेकिन ट्रेलर में आई थिंक तीन मिनट के ट्रेलर में जिस तरीके का रिस्पॉन्स मिला है अगर हम तीन मिनट में ये कन्विंस कर सकते हैं तो फिर तीन घंटे में तो अच्छा ही लगेगा Uh, how will you use the strength of the network to market the movie so nina spoke about that actually uh, and and so therefore you know uh, we will be, you are already seeing that vicom 18 motion pictures and nickelodeon are joining hands so that is the beginning of our sort of you know very clear and tangible sign of uh, synergy and the network coming together but we'll also be using across our channel channels uh, very extensive promotions nina spoke about that about you know uh, all the channels we'll be using digital as well we are now uh, post to reckon with in digital through woot uh, and that's a journey which has begun very well and i think we will use that as well to reach out uh, to to children and to send this message out so it will be a all 360 degree or all round effort from our end to deliver this फ्रीडम ऑफ स्पीच खत्म होती जा रही है नहीं हम तो बोल ही रहे हैं वो काट रहे हैं तो, <laughs> तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है सेंसरशिप करने का जो जो फंडामेंटल उसका जो है वो ये होना चाहिए कि हम बताएं कि यार आप देख सकते हैं आप थोड़ी देर थोड़ी देर थोड़े सालों बाद देख लीजिएगा बट टू एक्चुअली टेक आउट समथिंग फ्रॉम द फिल्म क्योंकि एक कोई इंपॉर्टेंट चीज़ अगर आप फिल्म से निकालते हैं तो उसका रिपल इफेक्ट पूरी फिल्म पे पड़ता है और उसको आपको फिर से नए सिरे से लिखना पड़ेगा लेकिन अंत में जब आपकी फिल्म रिलीज हो रही होती है और इस तरीके से किया जाता है तो वो एक आर्टिस्ट के लिए एक क्रिएटिव पर्सन के लिए बड़ा ही अजीब सा लगता है तो दिस इज माई व्यू यू मैंशन अबाउट मर्चेंडाइजिंग रेवेन्यू एंड वी सो एनिमेशन मूवीज डूइंग वेरी गुड इन मर्चेंडाइजिंग वेन इट कम्स टू ऑलियो सो वट वुड बी योर प्लान टू बूस द मर्चेंडाइजिंग रेवेन्यू इन इंडिया बिकॉज मर्चेंडाइजिंग इज नॉट डन गुड इन इंडिया सो फॉर so merchandising actually so there are two ways to look at it one way is to say that merchandise is not done well in india but the other way is to do look at it that merchandise is in the, is indeed growing very rapidly in india so i think if you look at growths in licensing and merchandising business they are very rapid you know you are more than doubling year on year although on a very small base at the moment but i think these are so these things are linked so i think it's also upon the uh, you know the incomes and the 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 consuming power of of indian audience and so on and so forth uh but any film which comes out like this will uh, will deliver uh, fun- fantastically well on uh, merchandising also if you look at our merchandising business it's got uh, kids it's got youths and it's we we also do merchandising for for we are the licensing and merchandising agent for uh, uh, you know fcb in india as you may know and for some other kids characters which are not owned by us programs or characters like pepper pig uh, peanuts uh, wings i think so some of these we do uh but motu patlu is a very popular character the merchandising on motu patlu particularly is growing and i'm very confident with this that the growth on motu patlu will be extremely strong after this as well because this is a bit of a ripple effect uh but let me tell you licensing and merchandising in india is growing very rapidly and it is it's going to sort of you know it will tip in couple of years it's sort of difficult to estimate which year it will be 
but it will be it will be really substantial. And e-commerce has given it a lot of boost. So one of the fundamental issues with licensing and merchandising in India was go to market to be able to reach the consumer because of our traditional uh, market which was there, you know, small stores and all that. So how do you reach out to them? And and it was not very good and the wholesale system was not working that well. With e-commerce coming into play, I think that is going to help and uh, is helping already in a big way. So I think that's the point. Just to add to that, in fact, I would imagine that the merchandising here, business here is, is, is going to grow and tremendously because there's a core insight to that. The insight being that when kids are watching Motu Patlu, for example, they are into Furfuri Nagar having fun with them. But for them, it's a sheer delight when, when the characters come out of Furfuri Nagar into their homes, into their lives. And therefore, they like to eat with them, sleep with them, go out with them, play with them, engage with them. And therefore, this whole m merchandising business pegs on this fact that the character is with me in my life and I'm playing with them, engaging with them. And therefore, it's really going to be on an incline. And like Sudanshu said, we are now available in apparels, in product categories, in back to school, uh, in bath and linen, in DIYs, in puzzles, in uh, ride-ons. And uh, not just from Hypercity to Big Bazaar, but even on Amazon and Flipkart. So all of this will give us a big push from a merchandising perspective as well. Sushant, its tagline is Yaro Ki Yari Action Safari. So, how many of you are and who are you? Uh, Sorry, one more time. I have very few friends, but they have been very few years. They don't know where I am in my life and where I am in my life. And I don't know if I am in my life. I don't take them seriously. I don't take them. So, I think this is very important that you दूसरे के साथ रहना चाहते हैं without even thinking expecting anything out of it तो मैं हूँ लेकिन बहुत सारे यार नहीं हैं थोड़े लेकिन अच्छे यहाँ पे मैं जाना चाहूँगी जैसे कि इन्होंने काम वोटों पतलों से दो जेनरेशन certainly जैसे बोलते हैं कि समझ पाएगी जुड़ पाएगी आपकी फिल्म जब एमएस धोनी की बात करती हूँ तो ये वो जेनरेशन है जो आपको देख रही है लेकिन चैलेंजेस भी आपके लिए वो रोल प्ले करने के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा रहे होंगे इसलिए क्योंकि वो शख्स ऑलरेडी प्ले कर रहा है सो जब ऐसे रियल लाइफ शख्स जो सामने खेल रहा हो नाम कमा रहा हो उसको प्ले करना कितना टफ था आपके लिए टफ इस इस वजह से नहीं होता कि हम एक्सपेक्ट करते हैं कि लोग क्या कहेंगे क्योंकि मैं जब तक फिल्म रिलीज के कुछ दो तीन हफ्ते पहले से सोचने लगता हूं कि लोग क्या कहेंगे जैसे अभी मैं सोच रहा हूं लेकिन तब तक मैं नहीं सोचता तब तक मैं बहुत ही सेल्फिश एक्टर हूं मैं सिर्फ अपने लिए करता हूं मैं एक्साइटमेंट देखता हूं मैं मेरे मेरे मैं बहुत बड़ा फैन हूं 2004 में मैं कितने उनको स्टॉक करके उनके साथ फोटो खिंचवाई थी मैंने तो मैं ये कह रहा हूं कि इट्स वेरी वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर अस टू अंडरस्टैंड सर व्हाट वाज योर क्वेश्चन हाँ सो एक्सेक्टल uh, it was tough because the most important thing we actors are supposed to do is to convince ourselves that we are the characters. And since I had such a strong visual reference of Dhoni, so it was a very difficult task for me. So it was a complete immersion. So that uh, when I was shooting on the first day, I was not pretending to be Dhoni, I was Dhoni. जैसे मैंने बोला कि क्योंकि हमें देख आउटपुट पता है कि इस तरीके का होना चाहिए तो ये बहुत ही स्ट्रेंज मिक्स है क्योंकि जो एक्टर एक प्रोसेस करता है अपने आप को कैरेक्टर बिल्डिंग करने के लिए अपने आप को कन्विंस करने के लिए वो बहुत ही ऑर्गेनिक होता है लेकिन साथ में क्योंकि विजुअल रेफरेंस है तो एक सर्टन लेवल ऑफ इमिटेशन भी है तो इन दोनों का जो एमेलगमेशन है उससे ये कैरेक्टर निकालना था जो मैंने पहले कभी नहीं किया था लेकिन जो जब आप कोई ऐसा काम करते हैं जो आप पहले नहीं करते तो आप बहुत एक्साइटेड होते हैं और मैं एक्साइटमेंट के लिए काम करता हूँ पहले दिन जिस दिन मैं ट्राई कर रहा था उसी दिन आई थिंक किरण मोरे सर मुझे ट्रेन कर रहे थे पहले दिन ही आखिर में कुछ मैं लगाने लगा था और हमारे पास एनालिस्ट थे जिन्होंने फ्रेम वाइज एमएस के सारे शॉट्स मुझे दिए थे कि कब कैसे वेट ट्रांसफर होता है तो पहले दिन ही हो गया था लेकिन थिंग वाज व्हेन आई वेंट बैक आई रियलाइज दैट आई हैड अ पेन एंड मुझे फ्लोटिंग रिब में हेलाइन फ्रैक्चर हो गया था बिकॉज़ यू हैव टू स्टॉप द मोमेंट एंड यू हैव टू गो बैक योर बॉडी इज़ नॉट यूज्ड टू इट तो दो हफ्ते की छुट्टी मिली लेकिन हाँ अभी हेलीकॉप्टर अच्छे से उड़ता है for Mr. Ketan and Mr. Sudhan Shu, if you can talk about the storyline which you chose for the movie, because it's a storyline which uh, many people have already tested out. So, what, dif how different is this story? Uh, for I, mean, I think you should wait and see the film and make uh, take the decision for yourself. But primarily, I think 
animals, jungle, freedom, uh, inspiration are elements that are universal. Uh, and still, it has to be completely Indian, completely native, completely indigenous. That was the challenge. That's the challenge that they have been actually playing with for the last four years, this entire team. Uh, and succeeding rather well. But to, to actually explode it onto a large screen was also a big challenge. But uh, kids love animals. Uh, I hope they love this film too. Thank you, members of the media. May I request your company on stage for a bit longer as we have the awesome twosome Motu Padlu joining us for a photo opportunity.